Hey everybody, Paranormal Video Gamer here, and this is going to serve as my review for the Super Console X number two. Now, I have the original, uh, as I previously stated in my short video, uh, as you can see right there, and suddenly, without warning, it stopped working. It would not load up any of the games that are on the card. So I contacted the manufacturer, they gave me the runaround, and pretty much told me, well, we don't know what's going on, pretty much the gist of it. So I said, you know what, fine. I am going to take a look at getting something else. Obviously, this is broken, and I did enjoy it. It was a very good, in terms of emulation, it's pretty good. It's not perfect, but pretty good. So. I decided, you know what, I'm going to take a look and see what I can find, and I found there was a Super Console X2 that had been released, and there's been actual several uh, different systems, but I couldn't, like, really swing the massive $200 for the newest version of it, so I said, okay, what can I afford that wouldn't necessarily break the bank, and I found that there's actually... X2 so I said all right I'll pick it up and go from there now I did go through the game lists as you can see I have uh, one of the I guess you could say screens that you, there, there's a whole bunch of different themes that you can go with the super console and it's actually kind of cool the way that they've kind of done it um, but I kind of just wanted to get a system that you know, when I'm, I'm bored and I've got nothing to do and I really want to play some retro gaming, this is why I wanted to buy this system. It had nothing to do with pirating games or anything like that. I, there are a lot of games that I owned when I was younger that I simply do not have anymore. Uh, for those of you who do not know that particular story, uh, I was living in an apartment with a good friend of mine. He ended up moving out. Uh, long story short, the person that was left, because it was three of us in the apartment, uh, the person that was left uh, was in charge of paying the rent, and this person was taking my money and the other person's money for a while, and he moved out, my, my friend moved out, and pretty much he, the other dude stopped paying the rent. And because he stopped paying the rent, he decided that he was going to move out, but not to tell me at all that uh, he had not been paying rent. So I show up back to the apartment after working, it was either a 12 or 14 hour shift, um, and all of my stuff is gone. And that included uh, my video game collection at the time, which I had a lot of really old uh, retro games for PlayStation and uh, Sega. Uh, I could go through the list here of what I had. I had a bunch of Sega 32 games, uh, I had a bunch of Sega games, uh, didn't have Master System, but that's kind of cool that they included it. I had a 3DO, uh, I had a Game Boy Advance, I'm going to say. I know I had a Game Boy, uh, a regular Game Boy. Uh, I had a Super Nintendo, there's Game Boy there, uh, and I had a Nintendo system. All the games that I had, uh, the majority of the ones for Nintendo, I was able to recover. Uh, but unfortunately for the Game Boy, Super Nintendo, uh, my Game Boy Advance, I got my Game Boy Advance back, but I got like half the collection. Um, the Sega, I think I got the majority of the games back, except for a really expensive one at the time. And then uh, my PlayStation uh, also got swiped. Uh, he basically took it and sold it to a pawn sh shop. And police didn't find it till about two weeks later, and by then it was already sold to somebody else, and I was pretty much screwed. So, getting this system allows me to bring back those games that I absolutely loved when I was younger. And because of that, that's the reason I really wanted to buy it, because there are certain games I really, really wanted to play. So I bought the 64 gig model. I am going to, if I can, upgrade to a 256 gig memory card because that will allow me to put more PlayStation games on it. And that's kind of what I want to do. I want to put more PlayStation games and, if possible, PSP games on it. So I actually, here, uh, I actually upgraded um, the PlayStation <laughs> games on here. So 
they're not perfect. Uh, I will be getting Tenchu uh, Part 2 on here. Uh, they're very easy to install, actually. Uh, it took me a little while to figure it out, but once I figured it out, it was pretty cool. Um, I could not believe that Rival Schools was actually on this particular system. Uh, that's cool as heck, because I absolutely love Rival Schools. Uh, Resident Evil The Director's Cut, I actually added this, uh, because the Resident Evil that comes on the base is actually the Spanish version. And even though it's cool and whatnot, uh, a lot of the video and a lot of the really cool cutscenes are completely gone from the system. Uh, I'm assuming it has to do with taking up a lot of memory, so I deleted it, put in the Resident Evil Director's Cut from the United States version, and it plays flawlessly. I'll show you that real quick. Um, it takes a couple seconds to load, so please be patient when you buy this system. Um, as you can see, it's loading in pretty good. I have to figure out how to get rid of the PlayStation uh, controller and system on the side. But as you can see, I'm not going to play the whole thing, but it does load up. The video uh, feed loads up, as you can see. Before, that was not happening. You could not uh, have any of the videos for the game. So uh, the system's powerful enough to actually... Uh, make it so where you can actually put games on here and uh, it's actually kind of cool that you can actually do that um, the other game that I put on here it doesn't have a, a, a I guess a thumbnail on it because I did add it it's Madden 2005 works perfectly fine um, no issues with frame rate drop or anything like that uh, there is Final Fantasy Anthology, but I'm actually going to uh, get rid of this and actually reinstall it. Uh, there's a big issue with the game loading um, and freezing uh, on this particular version. I'm assuming it's the version of the game, not necessarily the software. I'll find out when I uh, install uh, Dune 2000, one of my favorite PlayStation games of all time, was not on here, and I actually had to install that. Again, the install is very easy to do. Uh, it take, is, I do it from the actual network. It's so much easier to do from the network rather than take the memory card out of the system and then put it into um, you know, the computer and then take it. And it's just, it takes forever. It's, I think, longer doing it that way. Uh, but yeah, there, everything on here is phenomenal. Um, I haven't played Digimon uh, on this yet, uh, but I'm looking forward to it because I love Digimon. Obviously, I played it on my channel a bunch of times, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, for the price point that I got it for, and I'm not going to lie, uh, I think I paid $55 on AliExpress, and to be honest, it's worth the money. Um, if you can get it cheaper than that, do it. Because you can upgrade it. You can actually, you know, change different things about it. And you can add games to it, especially your, your childhood ones. Uh, one of them I'm going to add, uh, I can't remember the name of it, and if I pronounce this wrong, I am so sorry. Brave uh, something, um, old game, uh, Brave something. Brave, what is it, Mucha, Mucha Lida, whatever the game is, I can't even pronounce it, um, but it's a really cool game, and I had a physical copy of it, and unfortunately, that was swiped, so being able to put that on this is totally cool and pretty awesome that you can actually put old PlayStation games on here, Lunar, um, Silver Story Complete, I plan on putting on here because I had a copy of that, that got swiped, I also had the second part of the game, that also got stolen, and I was never able to recover them because they were sold before uh, the police were able to recover. Um, I only got like 20% of my collection back, uh, unfortunately. So in my particular case, to be able to play a lot of these retro games, it's totally worth paying 55 bucks for because you can install all the games that remind you of your childhood and come back and play. And I mean, you could even do PSP games on this apparently. And uh, I haven't tested the PSP uh, version of the games, but these are the games for PSP that are on it. Let me see if this actually loads. 
Um, I get a red screen every once in a while when something doesn't load. And yeah, it's uh, loading. So uh, apparently it works. So, but yeah, in my opinion, this system, at least this system, Super Console X2, is worth the money. So that's my review. Uh, if I had to give it stars, probably four out of five stars. There's little quirks that you kind of have to deal with, like the controllers. The, let's just be honest, the controls are god awful. They, they are light plastics that they, they feel very stiff when you're playing the game. And I will be completely honest, it's probably going to take me a while to get them used to, like, actually being good enough to where you can actually play the game. So, but thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And let me know what your thoughts are on the system. Or if you have one of the upgraded models, let me know in the comments below. Thank you.